In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Fortnite. To get this started, you'll want to follow along with me here. What you want to do is open up your NVIDIA control panel. So you can just type it in. It should come up. It may be down in your display tray already. You can right click this, press on the control panel. So here we go. Mine's loaded up. If you have not got it when you search in, but 100% have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can simply download it from the Microsoft store. But assuming you are all at this point right now, we want to go to 3D settings. We want to use preference emphasizing and have this bar all the way down to performance. You then want to press apply, go back to use the advanced 3D image settings and press take me there. This will allow you now to manage those 3D settings. What you want to do is basically copy what I've got here. I want to make this as simple as possible for you guys. I'm not here to waste your time. I want this video to be quick and snappy, but I will run through some small things. For the most part, a lot of this is just turned off because it's really pointless. It really is. Low latency mode is a very controversial one, but you can, I guess, you know, try it out, see if it works subjectively for you. But yeah, I strongly believe off is the best. Having it on ultra, it's a no-go. You do not want it on ultra. You will actually get more latency, which is the complete opposite of what this is meant to do. And on, some people do see better performance, but yeah, I would keep it off for the most part. Max frame rate, of course, you know, have this off. You don't want to have a cap to your FPS, at least if it isn't on the game itself. Power management is another one we change, but it's a no-brainer. You want to use the maximum power on your PC. Some people actually called me out on this and said this is a bad thing, but you're really out of your mind if you don't want to maximize performance on your system. It's not harmful whatsoever and it ensures you're getting the most out of your specs. Things like threaded optimization is another one which could be a tricky, but if you have more than four cores on your CPU, let me just reiterate, four cores on your CPU, you want this turned on because it will give you more FPS in general. To check your cores, you want to go into your task manager, head over to performance and on your CPU, you will see cores as you can see I have 10. So of course, I want to use this. Now in the configure surround physics tab, we want our physics settings set to our processor. Resolution here, you want to use your native resolution, which should be 1920 by 1080. Refresh rate, have this on the highest. Make sure you're using default color settings here. For the actual color settings, I recommend this right here. All we've really changed is our digital vibrance and we've upped it 30%, which makes everything more saturated and visually pleasing. For our scaling mode, you want to be using full screen. And if you can perform scaling on your display, if you don't have the display option, do not worry, it just means you don't have a display driver on your monitor and you should in turn use GPU. But please note that display scaling will give you the best input response time. Now for this option right here, it's a little bit of a secret. You want to go to desktop and enable developer settings up here. This will open this tab and yeah, you want to allow access to GPU performance counters on all users. And that is basically it. There isn't really much more to show you here. I currently use the newest and most updated NVIDIA drivers. You guys have already seen here, but I have an RTX 3070. I do personally recommend for everyone with newer RTX cards to just be updating your drivers as regularly as you can. Updates come out all the time, but for me, this works the best and it gives me the best performance. And you know what? To close this video off, I have one more thing. I wasn't going to mention this, but I may as well since I'm here. Some of you may notice I have this link in my description. It states that you can boost FPS and lower ping with just basically downloading an application. Now that is entirely true. The link will also be on this video. Just go over there, click that link for me. And from here, you can download download no ping. If you don't know what no ping is, it's basically one of the best applications. It decreases your ping and also boosts FPS, entirely optimizes your game. That could be any game as well, you know, Fortnite, CSGO, Overwatch, League of Legends, whatever it is in just one click. That's right. You just have to click one button and it will boost your FPS, optimize that game for your system and ensure you have the best FPS. It's super good, super easy. And the best part is that it's free. And if you want to go further and actually then buy a subscription, you know, you realize this is a good product it helps your ping and fps you can use code farfetch i'll put the code on the screen and this will give you 50 percent off your subscription plus an extra free month so yeah do as you wish with that information